When choosing a Usenet plan, you're going to want to look at six different things. The first of those things is the days of full binary retention. As you can see on news hosting, it offers 600 days. We'll take a look at Giga News, which offers 724 days. And AstroWeb, which offers 714 days retention. This is all quite a bit. It's over a year. And in the cases of AstroWeb and Giga News, um, we're talking about almost two years of data retention. Now, the importance of having data retention is that if you have files that you want to download and they were posted, you know, 700 days ago, um, having a provider like AstroWeb means that they will still be there. But if you were using news hosting, 700 days is too old as uh, news hosting only retains that data uh, for 600 days. So you want to make sure you get a Usenet provider with retention that is sufficient for your needs. The next thing you want to pay attention to is monthly transfer. You'll notice that it actually varies from account to account in most cases. Um, with news hosting, um, they actually have rollover if you have a 25 gigabyte per month plan, which is their light option for $10 a month. And then if you're in the XL Power Pack or Unlimited, you get unlimited transfer. Uh, the same sort of thing goes for everybody else. If you look at the uh, lower level accounts, you get 10 gigabytes on Giga News, 50 gigabytes for a little bit more money, and then unlimited on the higher end. And then on AstroWeb, it's the same kind of thing, only um, the unlimited and the limited accounts seem to be about the same price. The next thing we're going to look at is the number of connections. As you can see here, it varies. With news hosting, you get 30 connections um, minimum with your accounts, and for a little extra money, you can get 60. The number of connections you have is relative to the number of concurrent downloads you can have from your Usenet provider. Now, if you have 30, you can have 30 downloads going at once, or 60, you can have 60, but that seems uh, like a bit much. And it is because, for the most part, your connection is not going to be fast enough to download that many files at the same time and get a speed advantage. However, generally, you'll be able to get, say, 8 to 10 um, by, and max out your connection and take advantage of as much speed as possible. The alternative um, when you have a number of connections is that you can actually share them with people. So you could have an account with your friend at one of these providers and split up the connections and both run the account at the same time, so long as you don't go over the maximum number of connections allowed. The other things to take a quick look at are security. You'll notice that there is encryption on Usenet plans either included or for an extra cost. In the case of news hosting here, it's free no matter what account you have. If you're looking at Giga News, um, you have to add SSL for an extra cost. And in the case of AstroWeb, you also get it for free. Support is something that you want to pay attention to just a little bit. Here you have 24-7 support. Giga News goes a little bit farther in the sense that you get 24-7, 365 days a year. It's probably about the same. But you get a human response in less than 10 minutes, which is pretty nice. One last thing to pay attention to is your ability to cancel the account. You probably want to try it out first before committing to a specific provider. And one thing Giga News is really good for is that they give you 14 days, no cost. However, if you do want to sign up with someone else like News Hosting or AstroWeb, make sure you sign up on a month-to-month -month plan. As you can see here, you have unlimited plans for $10 a month, but you can also get them at a discount if you pay in bulk months. Now, in this case, three months to try something out is not so bad. News Hosting lets you pay in half years and years as well. So you probably don't want to go ahead and do that immediately, but rather actually just test out the service and see if you like it before committing to a provider. And that's about it. Most of the providers are the same, so as long as they have a good reputation, if you've gotten a recommendation from a friend or, you know, from a blog that you like, then go ahead and sign up. But just be wary of anything that you see online that you're not really sure about.